My involvement with solar really starts with my respect for nature, roaming through the woods, hiking trips and going canoeing, and that gave me a deep respect for the natural world. The Solar Schools Initiative is a student-led campaign that I started in when I was in high school. There are six schools slated to get solar panels. Schools are the perfect candidate for solar power. They have huge flat rooftops that are very unobstructed. They use the energy during the day when the solar power is producing it, and they are a high potential educational resource for thousands of students that go through the school system every year. I've been involved with solar power specifically since seventh grade when the Solon Schools Initiative started. Then when I started getting into it, I wanted to let people know that I was into it. So I would tell my teachers, I would tell my friends, and eventually I was talking to Board of Supervisors. The Solar Schools Initiative is definitely student-powered solar. I was a student who led the campaign. It was a coalition of hundreds of students across the county, all working toward getting solar power on their schools. If there are more schools getting solar panels, then students will be able to learn about them and learn about new forms of energy way better than reading in a book. So in terms of savings for the schools, that'll be about $8,000 a year. If you translate it, it'll be about 3,137 school lunches. It's exciting to be able to know that every part of your school is being used, whether it's a classroom, a computer lab, or even the roof. You're using the roof for providing energy. Everything's useful. One of my favorite parts of this whole campaign was to see how excited my sister Eleanor was at getting involved. And now she's gonna be going to Albemarle High School, where I graduated and the panels are going. And it makes me really proud to know that the four years of work that I've put into this campaign has culminated in her being able to have the panels on her high school. 